See that last conference call, Dan Springer? On Do DocuSign? It was one I of those. I do like, recall you it was a jailbreak. It. it was a jailbreak. It was one of those like, Dan, why? <laughs> it's really, I shouldn't laugh. People lost a job. But it's like, Dan, why are you losing all these salespeople? What's the story? I like these. I like our, our charts, Jim, because we've been doing this, showing the way up to. We, we, we only show the way down. We got to show the full climbing of the mountain okay, I'll, and I'll then descending that. of the mountain. Okay. Oh, right. my. Well, now can we show well, the climb? There the, we go. Look don't at you, that. Don't you think it, that insight before people mourn that before. Dan's leaving? Yeah. There was rebellion of the ranks, and Dan was very defensive. Ah, there's the full mountain. Well, now's the time. If you're going to get rid of him, wait till it comes all the way down. It doesn't have hey, a K2 you think, look to you it. Think it's that, more like uh, no, no, there's no it's K2. It's more K2. like the Adirondacks. It, yeah, it's that Mount Morrison. Maybe, maybe the Catskills. You know that big, that, and, you know, that switch back right there. Yeah. Uh, okay, but David, let's go over this. DocuSign. Tell me. All right, well, that was a unique pandemic. Yes. Right? A la Zoom. Yes, a la, a la Peloton. Peloton. So is it Dan's fault? I mean, if you were a salesperson and perhaps you had stock options, well, you would want to leave. But it was very clear that there was no, it's, there it, was a groundswell against Dan internally, right. which was found you, out by you the had, actual you know, analysts. And by the way, if you wanted, to, if you were really smart and you said, you know what, I'm completely overvalued and everybody's getting crazy, and I you try to sell yourself, all your shareholders would be like, how could you possibly consider selling yourself at a period like this? Right. Well, I mean, I do think that when we see companies that need to be on the prowl to buy someone, I mean, DocuSign is a great company. And now you're well, buying. Now, right. I'm saying if you were really smart, you might have tried to sell it off of Well, I mean, know, like Zoom. Two, two Should 40. Zoom have sold? I don't know. I don't know who would have bought it. I don't know either. Nobody. I mean, it was the multiples were simply way too high for any real company right, to have right. bought them. Okay, Not so, that they okay, aren't real, right. would you but buy, you would have crushed your would, own multiple. Would you buy DocuSign? Would you buy Zoom? Is there a thesis? Now? Is there a thesis? I think what? there might be, don't you? I think the thesis is this. They've come down. They still have a lot of cash. Why can't they reinvent themselves? They still have, well, they still have businesses. It's not as though they're business. I agree with you. It's just that I think that they are all shocked. These guys are all shocked. Like Zoom, it's time for Zoom to make a move. But, David, they made that move and it failed. Remember? Right. Yes. Five, nine? So it's almost like, okay, we did that, that failed. DocuSign needs to merge with someone, I don't know, someone who's involved with the process. Right. I don't know, Avery Dennison. I don't know. Right. You know, you're the M&A guy. I am. Maybe they, should have buy been. The, maybe they should buy the plant-based part of the Kellogg. longest serving M&A guy, um, even though I'm no longer doing it as much. But, yeah, I, listen. Um, you were the Kellogg. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, that was so mean. That was so right, low. How about the demo tomorrow? You are. That, you that, are. People that don't was know, bad. Man. I am. You bring a gun to a knife fight. No, yeah. I should shoot myself if you're saying that. No, no, no. I was going to you know, promote your exile. Well, oh, we're going to do that. So I felt we're like gonna, I should temper it. We're going to start actually playing real parts of the documentary because we're ready to roll tomorrow night. But before we do that, take a listen to Dan Springer from June 10th. This is it. This is what I wanted June people to 10th. listen to. This Holy cow, what, how did we get this that? This is what the DocuSign so CEO told uh, Tech Jack. You'll love this. I don't think we've ever had uh, a phenomenon where we became, you know, drunken sailors and weren't, weren't spending the, the firm's resources well. I do think we probably got to a place with our customers where we allowed them to sort of aggressively purchase, you know, ahead of their demand as they saw the possibilities and the promise of digital transformation. Perhaps we could have sort of slowed that a little bit to even it out. Maggie Wilderotto taking over as the interim CEO. She had been chair or is chair of that company's board. She's a longtime yeah. CEO at any number of different companies through the years. We know her well here at CNBC. Well, good luck. I mean, Patrick Wall, Wall Ravens, JMP Securities, and the Com School said, if I may, I'll do one for each of you. When you go, Dan, why are so many of the reps quit? I mean, you typically don't get that unless it's so obvious that things are just falling apart. But, Jim, you got to a larger point, which is, all right, this stock is down 77% in the last year. Right. Well, they spent like trucking We sailors. talked about, by the way, it's not just that names that benefited enormously from the early days of the pandemic. But and they so had business. it all. It's so many other high multiple tech companies um, that have suffered significant declines in their stock prices, which gets to this larger question. 
What's the business? What's the earnings power of that business, particularly potentially heading into a recession? And what should we pay for it? Well, Dan, I mean, you know, Adobe's moving into that business. A lot of companies are moving into that business. Like Zoom's got problems, obviously Teams and WebEx. I don't know what to pay for them unless you want to make a better suite. You can make a suite of products. Now, I had Dan on multiple times. I, Dan put together an amazing business. All right, we all switched to DocuSign. We haven't really switched back to having big meetings with lawyers, but it's very hard to figure out why some company doesn't come in and buy DocuSign now as part of a suite. Mm-hmm. Who would that be? Might as well start, well, you'd have, you start know, some like rooms. Mark Benioff only buys companies with growth. Right. That uh, Salesforce CEO. You'd have to find someone who needs to be able to say, you know what, there's great synergy. We're going to fire all these salespeople and we're going to put that in. And that, so therefore you have to find someone who's tough enough to fire, I don't know, 80% of the people. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.